Hi guys, today I'm going to start with a side part and then take a little section, split it into three, and we're going to do a Dutch braid. So you're going to braid the outside strands underneath the middle strand, and then you'll incorporate hair into the outside strands and put them under the middle strand. I added in my extensions because I wanted my hair to be fuller and you don't have to use extensions at all with this but I just wanted more hair to work with. So now I'm going to pancake the braid and I'm really going to focus on just pulling out the very outer edges of this braid. Another section, same size as the first, and you'll split it into two, and then you'll take a little section from the outside of the front one, and bring it under to the second, bring a little section from the back, and bring it under to the first. And now we're going to incorporate hair, and you'll bring the new piece under to the back, and then you're going to take some hair from the outside of the original section and move it under to the back and do the same on the other side. So I'll take a new piece, bring it under to the first section, and a little piece from the original section and bring that under as well. You have to bring some hair from the original section under too because it looks really weird. It doesn't end up working out at all. So make sure you're bringing that piece under as well. Now once you get a little ways down, you'll just continue bringing the outside strands under to the opposite side. I didn't do the best job hiding my extensions, so if you are using them, then I would put them a little bit lower on your head, but you won't be able to see them in the end, so that's really all that matters. And I like to spray it with hairspray just a little bit before I pull on it. I feel like it helps keep the braid in place better, and I'm just going to pull on the very outer edges. Once you do that, tie it off with a clear elastic. And now I'm going to just take some hair out from around my face. And then I'll take a little section just behind my ears. Split it into two. And we're going to do a Dutch fishtail braid again. But without adding in hair. So you're just bringing the outside strand under to the opposite side. just going to pull it apart, then tie it with a clear, uh, clear elastic. And now you have your three braids, so you'll bring all of your hair over to the braided side. And I like to do this trick when I'm doing my messy buns. I just started doing it and I really love it. So the last time you pull your ponytail through, you're going to pull it just a little ways through and then you're going to tuck the rest in upward into the ponytail. So I'll show you again. You'll pull it just a little ways through and then you tuck the rest of your hair inside that ponytail. And before you bobby pin it to your head, I'm going to take those front braids and bobby pin them back. Just leave that third braid alone for now, and you're just going to play with your hair, manipulate it to how you like it, and just bobby pin it to your head. Now you'll take that last braid, 
and I'm just going to stretch it all the way across the messy bun. And bobby pin it, and you're done! Make sure to tag me on Instagram at Annie's Forget Me Not so I can see you recreate this style. Thanks so much for watching!